Sussex's pathetic trip falling apart as fake PR stunts put Harry and Meghan in serious crisis. At the Duke of Sussex pub in Peckham, South London, locals sipped lager in the sunshine at the start of a long weekend. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan's temporary return to Britain has drawn chatter in pubs like this one across the country. You can see he appreciates his family, said Wendell McCalla after viewing pictures of Harry, the Duke of Sussex, joining other royals and remembrance ceremonies for the Queen. But throughout the UK, a vocal segment of society remains adamant the couple has disrespected the institution. To them, Harry and Meghan are no longer welcome here. I'm not quite sure why they came back to be honest, said Joe Fidders, a construction worker. I think they should have stayed there, referring to the couple's California home. The family, drawn together in grief, finds itself again under the microscope over its past handling of the couple, as new questions arise about how Harry and Meghan will be treated under a new king. The Sussexes' flop can't be traced back to a single event. It's the sum of a series of mistakes fueled by a failure to understand royalty and celebrity. When the actress moved to a palace, she brought with her a showbiz appetite for drama. Windsor Castle and Buckingham Palace briefly hosted something akin to a Real Housewives spin-off. But the day-to-day -day job of a modern royal is gloriously glamour-free. Harry and Meghan have sparked controversy in recent weeks for their touchy-feely public displays, with some praising the pair for supporting each other, while others have slammed the power PDA. The pair's behaviour has caused plenty of public scrutiny, especially when compared to William and Kate, who took a more business-like approach to their PDA during the mourning period following the late monarch's death. Podcaster and columnist Jana Hocking told, I always question those who have to prove their overly affectionate selves in public. Yes, the pessimist in me ponders why they're trying so hard. Take for example Meghan and Harry, we watch her cling to him in public as if she will lose him if they don't hold hands. Then take a good look at William and Kate. They stand tall, strong and independent, yet united. For me, that's a sign of a sturdy marriage. Two people who can stand upright by themselves, but throw each other an adoring side glance when needed. No power PDA needed to prove their union. Is this touchy feeling us a sign of insecurity? Perhaps. Lust? Ickiness to those around them. Definitely, she wrote. The couple were in the UK in June for Platinum Jubilee events marking the Queen's 70 years on the throne, but kept a relatively low profile. Royal watchers are left wondering whether the current reproachment will be for good or whether it's all for show. Katie Nicholl told, It's yet to be seen whether the apparent thaw in relations signalled what I think everyone has been hoping for, a long-lasting and genuine reconnection between Harry and his family. Last weekend, Harry and Meghan made a surprise public appearance side by side with Harry's brother Prince William and his wife Kate. The group, once known as the Fab Four, viewed floral tributes to the Queen in Windsor and thanked crowds lining the street. On Wednesday, Harry walked beside his brother as the family followed the Queen's coffin in a procession to Westminster Hall, where she would lie in state. The appearance stood in stark contrast to the distance, physical and emotional, observers remarked between the brothers at Prince Philip's funeral last year. Charles mentioned the couple by name in his first speech as king last week, but found a way to underline they're no longer considered working royals. In many ways, Harry and Meghan are actually what the royal family needs to move beyond this rather staid image. That it risks having more with Charles, she said. 